Hey guys, welcome back to Rocky Mountain Homestead. Tonight we are doing some baked chicken teriyaki thighs, and I'm going to take you along and share the recipe that I do for our teriyaki sauce. I like to double our sauce because I like to serve it on our rice as well, and I really like to glaze um, our chicken thighs. If you have not um, subscribed yet to this channel, please consider subscribing. I'd appreciate any of the support that I can get. Let's get started. You will need one cup of soy sauce, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of cold water, two cloves of garlic. Um, you can mince it, you can chop it. I use one teaspoon of ground ginger and a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon of ground black pepper and one cup of sugar. You will also need 10 to 12 chicken thighs. I do bone in chicken thighs with the skin on. If you do boneless, you may have to adjust the oven temperatures as they will probably cook a lot quicker. But let's go ahead and get started. Oh. You're going to go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Oops, and then we're gonna go ahead and get our sauce going. While your oven is preheating, go ahead and add all the ingredients into a saucepan. I just use a medium saucepan and put it on medium high heat. And go ahead and add in all the ingredients. You're going to go ahead and put them skin side up and we're going to go ahead and glaze them on the top and then flip them over and glaze them on the bottom. So you will need two greased pans for this. Over medium high heat, you're gonna go ahead and bring your sauce to a boil. And once it starts boiling, I just stir it for a few seconds and then turn my heat down to a simmer. And I let it simmer for anywhere from five to seven minutes till it is much thicker. Um, to my liking. What I like to do is portion out the amount of sauce I think I'm going to use to brush the tops and then the bottom with the first batch of sauce. Because they are raw, I don't want to cross-contaminate into the rest of my sauce, so just brush the tops generously. Now I'm just flipping over the chicken thighs and you're going to do the same thing and generously brush the sauce on the underside of the chicken thighs and this is the position you're going to want to go ahead and bake it for the first 30 minutes. This is also why it's important to grease your pan because if you are using um, the skin on chicken thighs it does crisp up at the end so you don't want to lose the skin and have it stick and peel off to the bottom of I'm sorry this part was sideways but what you're going to do is set your timer for 30 minutes and then after that first 30 minutes you're gonna go ahead and take them out of the oven When the timer goes off, take them out of the oven and go ahead and flip them to the skin side up. And then once again, you're going to generously brush them, the tops of them, with some more teriyaki sauce. Thank you. 
you are now going to place them back in the oven and set um, the timer for an additional 30 minutes. And after this, they should be done. All right, it is going to be sizzling hot. It's not burned, it's just sauce that was boiling in the corner. It's really dark. And I sometimes, if it's not crisp enough, will throw it back on broil, but it almost always is crisp enough. Super moist and juicy. So 30 minutes at first, then you flip it and then add 30 more minutes and that is it. It is so easy to put this sauce together. It is absolutely delicious and I'm just putting some extra sauce on. And these are done, they're ready to go. We're gonna get these on a plate. All right, so my husband's food is done. I made his plate to let it cool because he's not here to eat dinner with us. He's gonna be home really late. I have fresh and green onions in the fridge, but I just, I wanna get these kids fed. It is already after 6.30, so anyway, I have that for him. I just um, put some um, white sesame, it's not focusing, white sesame seeds on it, and um, some chopped chives. Anyway, that is dinner tonight. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of that teriyaki sauce we made on top of his rice, and other than that, this is our dinner. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. It is delicious. You can do this with salad. You can do like seasoned rice. You can really do whatever. It's really versatile. Um, if I had time, I do an amazing fried rice, which I'll do a recipe on that too. It is delicious. Better than takeout. You can make it at home. It's just lots of little steps. But anyway, this is dinner. Hope you guys give this a try. Anyway, um, take care. God bless, and we'll see you on the next video.